Hello everybody, welcome to the Chin Fat channel, where this episode we're going to be starting to cover the toolbar, the items in the toolbar. This specific episode is on the arrow here at the top. This is your toolbar right here, and by the way, I'm under assembly mode right now from the previous episode, which I showed how to do basic assembly of, of, of your movie. I'm going to go to editing and put this back to editing. And now that I'm back to my editing mode, you'll see this toolbar right here. And uh, this episode, we are covering the selection tool or this arrow at the very top, which they call the selection tool. If you hover over any one of these, it's going to show you right next to it um, the shortcut for that tool, the keyboard shortcut to select that tool. For example, this one here, if you want to select the razor blade, it is C. If you want to get back to your regular arrow, it is the letter V as in Victor. So if I'm on a different tool here, if I say I'm on the hand tool and I hit the letter V, it switches me back to my standard arrow tool. Now your arrow tool is a couple of different things. For one, it is a selection tool. For another, it is a moving tool. And then the third is basically a trim tool. So let's show the selection part. If you move your mouse down over a clip and you put it right in the middle of a clip and you click on it with your arrow tool, it selects that clip. If you want to select more than one clip, you can hold down shift and hold down shift and click on this one. You'll notice two clips are now selected. So if I want to delete those, I can just hit my delete key. It deletes and they're gone. I'm going to undo, hit control Z or command Z on a Mac will undo. Now another form of selection is dragging a marquee over your clips. And you've got to be careful with this because uh, what you're going to do is click outside where there's no clips. If you click and drag like this, it'll drag a box over a range of clips. Now I can hit delete or I can grab I can grab one of these and I can move them around like that and move them to a different part of the timeline. I'm going to hit control Z and undo. Uh, but once again, make sure you click outside of the video because if you if you start trying to drag your marquee from here and you click on this video and start trying to drag the marquee, it's just going to move it. And I just dropped it and it deleted those clips where I dropped it. So once again, move it out over the top of the clips where it's not selecting any clips and I'm going to click and drag and it will drag a marquee and I can select a range of tools and now I can also hold down shift and click and drag over a different range of uh, clips as well. And so now I've got these ones selected and these ones selected. So now if I hit delete, it deletes those. Undo. The next thing I mentioned that the arrow does, that the selection tool does, is it also moves. It moves uh, your clips. So if I simply just grab one of these clips here, just click and drag and start moving, it moves that clip. I just moved that clip from this space and moved it over here to the end of my timeline. If you want to move a, if you want to move a range of clips, once again, you can click and drag several, then you can you can click and drag. You can grab one of these clips here and just move it. It'll move that range of clips and move them over here. Kind of a, an easier way of actually moving your clips. Uh, say you want to take this clip and you want to insert it between these two right here. This is the long way of doing it. I can click and drag like this, make a marquee, and I'm going to grab this clip and drag them all over like that to make space. Now I can come over, grab this clip, drag it over here. By the way, my snap is turned on right here, this little snap tool, this little magnet. I want that on, not off. White is off, blue is on. And now when I grab this and drag it, it's going to magnetize to the edge of a frame right there. And that will keep it from not putting a little blank space in there. If you do, if this is turned off and you're sitting there eyeballing it like this, sometimes you can get it close, but not close enough. And it looks like it may be close together, but as you play through this, I'm going to arrow right here and go through it. You'll notice there's a blank frame in there, a few blank frames. See, watch what happens as I play through this. You see that blank, that black frame that flashes in there. So the snap tool will keep that from happening. If you have your snap tool turned on and move my playhead, if I grab this and drag it, it will magnetize to the edge of that and make sure there's no gap there. I'm going to undo this. But probably the best way of moving this or this or a range of clips, if I just if I want to move this clip and insert it between these two clips right here, I can use my cut, copy, and paste features. And if you're familiar and if you are familiar with word processing, you can basically hold control or command on a Mac and do X, C, and V which is control X, C, and V is cut, copy, and paste. So right now I can do control X to cut, and it just cut that footage, and now it's waiting, ask, now it's just waiting in kind of in the air, waiting for me to paste it in somewhere. If I do control V to paste, it just pastes it right where my playhead is. I'm gonna undo that, select that, control X, and I'm gonna arrow up to go between these edits. And right there, I want to uh, land right between those edits and put it exactly right there. Once again, I don't recommend trying to just eyeball it and put it because you might accidentally slice into it just a couple of frames. Instead, use your arrows up and down to land between the edits. Arrow up, 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 up. Now I want to paste that. If I do Control V, watch what happens. It just ate into all my footage right there and it deleted all the footage underneath it. So I'm going to undo that. And instead of Control V, which is an overwrite, I'm going to do Control Shift V. Add the shift as a modifier, hit the, the letter V as in Victor, and it pastes and it shoves everything. It does what's called a ripple paste and it shoves everything else out. And now I've got that clip inserted there, nice and clean. 
and that's a little bit easier way of doing it. The final thing that I mentioned that your selection tool does is it also works as a trim tool. I'm going to go to the end of my timeline here, arrow back to the left one frame. I'm going to move my mouse close to the edge right here, and look what it does to the arrow. The arrow turns in this little red arrow that points to the right. What that signifies is my out point, this clip's out point. If I move it over here, you'll notice it does a clip to the, the left and a clip to the right. This signifies this clip's the clip to the right's in point. If I move it over here, that's representing the clip's to the left out point. Now, if you want to trim one of these, you can go to the edge and simply grab it, click, and you drag with your mouse to the right and it will show you where your new frame ends up here in the window. And a window will pop up here and it will show you where your new frame ends. So take a look at that. That shows you the new ending of your trim point. So I'm grabbing this and dragging it to the left. It's extending the clip instead of cutting it off there. If I drag it to the left, it's going to shorten it, shorten my out point, and it will show you my new frame that it ends on up there, up in the program window. So if I just drag that to the left, let go, I just trimmed that and made it shorter. If I grab it and drag it to the right, I just made it longer. I move in here and arrow to the left, which has got this clip's out point, and drag this to the left. It's shortening that clip, and I just shortened its out point. It left a gap. We'll show you later how to fill the gap with what's called a ripple, with what's called a ripple edit. But now if I want to extend that out, it will only let me extend it out as far as it will go until it hits into another clip there. And that pretty much concludes the main purposes of the selection tool, which is the letter V as in Victor is your shortcut on your keyboard. If you have any questions, please post them and thanks for watching.